Hello, I am Chef Diane DeMeo and welcome to my kitchen. Today I am making something completely different, not normally on my menu. I am making a veggie burger. Yes, why? Well, because sometimes we just want a veggie burger and it's okay to have one even though sometimes I might be stuffing some pork inside mine. But today, no meat, just vegetables. All right, let's get cooking. What's in my veggie burger? Okay, I have bulgur wheat, walnuts, black beans, and you can use pinto beans or any other type of beans. I have a combination of cilantro and onions, about a half a cup already chopped, garlic, and that's about it. Gonna do a little prep. We're gonna do about, I don't know, that much onion, which is about uh, close to a quarter cup to a half a cup. And I'm gonna give my garlic a rough chop too. So. Off the stove we go to make the bulgur, and then we're gonna come back and do a little blendy blend, chill off our burgers once we make patties, get them on the stove, and then eat them. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna saute my onions till they get a little caramelized. What does that mean? A little brown. It's gonna give some flavor to my bulgur wheat. In it goes. All right, let it set, sizzle. I'm gonna add a little salt. Let's give another five minutes to cook, and then we're gonna add our bulgur wheat. So in goes my bulgur wheat. I'm gonna give it a nice little stir. Get that oils all up in there with the onions and that bulgur wheat, and then I got about one cup of water. By the way, that was about a half a cup of bulgur wheat. Yeah, and I'm gonna turn that heat down and we're just gonna let it simmer for about 15 minutes, maybe even less, until all the water is soaked up by the bulgur wheat. Let's start building the vegetable burger. In goes my beans. By the way, that was about one cup of black beans. You can use any type of beans that you want. And then we have about a half a cup of walnuts and our cilantro and onion. And let's give this some pulsy willy whirls. All right, my vegetable mixture is ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plop a couple like nice little round balls onto this plate. and we're gonna get it into the refrigerator to chill so they'll set. I know, they don't look like pretty little patties, but that's okay. Once they set and get a little firm, we'll be able to make some nice balls out of these. My vegetarian burgers have been chilling, they're set, and now we're gonna make a little hand mold, get them into the pan, fry them up, and stuff them in my mouth. Okay, let's see, yeah. This is ready for the pan. Almost looks like ground beef. And we're ready to go to the stove. My pan is hot, my oil's going in. We're gonna get these bad boys nice and crispy and hot. Here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now we're gonna cook them for about mm, five minutes on each side and then we're gonna have ourselves a damn good veggie burger. Almost done, and we're gonna plate this. We're gonna build our veggie burger. So first I'm gonna do like a nice layer of lettuce. We'll do it the big one in the bottom. I'm gonna add my avocado smash that has some horseradish and garlic and a little bit of lime juice and the recipe you can find on bootleg tips. So I got a little bit in there. Next. I'm going in with a few beautiful tomatoes. Pickle slices, we're just gonna keep for decoration in case you wanna pick one up and eat it later. And now, the veggie burger. A little more smash avi. And we have our beautiful lettuce wedge going right on top of that. Beautiful, veggie burger, gluten-free, no bread, yummy to go with some smashed avocado, and I'm going to have to take a big bite of this now. Okay. Mm. 
There it is. Look at that. Okay, doesn't that look like meat? It does. It looks like ground beef well done and it's about to go in my mouth. This vegetarian burger is amazing and you should make this and try it yourself. If you like vegetarian food, make sure to check out my friend's playlists. They have some amazing dishes and I know you'll like them. See you next week with another amazing dish. Ciao. Hello, I'm Chef Diane DeMeo and welcome to Bootleg Tips. Today I am making an avocado smash with a little bit of garlic and lime juice.